what's up everybody it is me jordan fisher 2000 here and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to convert a 30 fps video to a 60 fps video you record a 30 fps video just like this this was actually from a couple years ago but if we right click on this video and go to the properties and then details you can see that the frame rate is 30 frames per second and i want to change that to 60 frames so what you want to do is the first thing you actually want to do is download a program called WinRAR right here and this allows you to extract zip files so look for English 64 bit click on that guy and what you want to do is it will bring you this WinRAR exe file just install it we'll click on keep and install it but I'm not gonna install it Ugh. excuse me I'm not gonna install it because I already did it so just I'm gonna discard that so make sure that it is actually installed the next thing that you want to install is this 60fps.rar, which contains a lot of information that you're going to need. So the link will take you to this Google Drive page. It probably won't, but if it does, just click on this right here, and then click on the folder right here. Actually, just, just click on this uh, download button right here. It will take you to this download anyway folder. Just click on download anyway, and it will download this 60fps.rar right here. But I canceled it because I don't need it, because I already did it. Next thing you want to install is, oh, uh, where is, oh yeah, right here. So it's called Me GUI, and this is the actual program to actually um, convert the, the video. So just click on this uh, button right here that says download and download it right here. So then it will give you a countdown, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, but then just drag all those, just basically drag the 60 FPS, the Me GUI, and the uh, download the lav the oh yeah i forgot to show you guys you also need lav filters which uh which basically is you, you just need it so just go ahead and copy the link it will be lav filters click on enter it will automatically start to download like there we go so i'm going to cancel that and drag that exe onto your desktop the first thing you want to do is i don't know i'm not sure why, i'm not sure why that is actually there so you want to right click on the 60 FPS and extract it. So click on extract to 60 FPS dash 2. It will extract all the files in that uh, in that zip. Also right click on me GUI and choose the same exact action. If you guys didn't see that, it is called extract to me GUI uh, 250786 slash. So that is the option you want to click on. And I'm just going to drag them right here so you guys know exactly what I am doing. So once those have extracted, what you want to do is double click on the lav filters and install those. So just click on yes, click on next, and click on next again, next, next. And I'm not going to install it because I already did it, but just click on install and you do not need to open anything. Just make sure that they are installed and make sure that you click on finish once it is done. After you install those, what you want to do is go into the 60 FPS folder, double click on 60 FPS, and double click on MKV Tool Nix. Just double click on that, click on yes, click on next, and what you want to do is remember this directory if you want to uninstall it. So yeah, just click on next and install the program. Make sure you click on finish at the end. So yeah, so once you have done that, go right into the files. Uh, hyphen 20150 whatever and then double click on avi synth.exe click on yes and then click on i agree make sure that these three are checked click on next and install to this directory and make sure that you click finish at the end so once you have done that what you want to then do is go into the tools go into avi synth plugin and copy these four right here right click copy and then what you want to do is go into the me gui folder which is right here that you extracted go into the tools folder go into avi synth underscore plugin if you do not see this folder that means you that you did not install the avi.exe properly so if we go into there we go into the 60 fps if you did not install the avi synth properly make sure that you do and then you should refresh and see this folder so what you want to do is go into that folder right click and paste those four things that you copied and make sure that they are right here because you're going to need them then i actually messed up on this step uh what you want to do is make sure that you have this folder go to your file manager go to your c drive go to your program files 86 
and drag the make sure that you copy the, the, the things in there first so what you want to actually do is drag the MGUI that, that you extracted with the four things copied into your program files 86 because I was getting an error message that it wasn't here so make sure that is actually here right click on that rename it just to MEGUI just like that and then click on enter click on continue and it will be named MEGUI which is what you want so after you have um, after you have done that, uh, I actually, I need to go back into that folder. So go into uh, here, go into MGUI, and then double click. I'm actually going to just create a shortcut if you want. So right click, and then click on, oh, I don't want to delete it. Right click, create shortcut, and drag the shortcut that you have here to your desktop just to make things a little easier instead of going back into the folder. What you want to do is just run it, but I'm going to run it as an administrator. Click on yes. It will then load up the, the application, so um, let it load up. You, it's going to uh, come up with this box right here that says updates are available. Make sure you click on yes. Once you click on yes, make sure that all five of these things are checked right here, and then click on update. It's going to say uh, in a second that uh, you need to restart. Click on yes, it will restart the entire program, and then it will open itself back up. It will then give you an error message saying that it cannot find one required component. Do you want to search now online for the updates? It won't actually take you to Chrome, it will just ask you yes. Click, well actually make sure you click on yes. It will give you three other options. Make sure that all these are checked and then click on update. So then what you want to do is click on yes when it asks you to restart and then it will reopen up the program once again. Okay. So it didn't give you any errors this time, that's good. So, then what you want to do is go into the tools right here. Actually, first, just make sure that file format is on MP4, or ju just actually keep it on there for now. We'll change that later. Go to tools, go to AVS script creator, which is right here. It will bring up this box right here. What you want to do is click on this config button right here, and then what you want to do is click on new. Name your preset. I'm going to call it 60 FPS just because why not. Click on OK. It will then give you this code right here which was originally there. You don't want this code. So what you want to do is go into Chrome and go to this website which I will leave in the description. Copy all of this code right here. Make sure that I'm just going to highlight all of it just to make sure I actually copied it. Right click, copy, go back to the box. Highlight the current code that's in there. Take that out and then paste in the new code that you just copied from the browser. Once you have done that, go to extra setup. Disable resize filter, enable prefer SD, uh, DSS2 over direct source, uh, click on that, and then click on upsizing allowed and make the MOD up to 4. Choose 4, not 8, 16, choose 4, and then what you want to do after that is make sure you have everything right here. Uh, just make sure color correction is checked, prefer, and upsizing MOD4, not anything else. And also make sure your code is there. What you want to do then is click on update, and then click on OK. It will then give you your AVI synth profile right here. The next thing you want to do is actually click on these three dots and choose your video that you want to convert to 60 FPS. So right here, here is my video. What you want to do is make sure that the directory where it is is right here and then it will give you this box right here. What you want to do is click on direct show source. If you are trying to import an AVI file, it will say AVI source. Always click the one third, not first, not second, but third. Click on that and then it will give you a preview of what the actual video looks like. So I'm not going to just, just close out of it because you won't actually need it. Once everything is here and all your information is right here, don't mess with the crop or resize or anything, just click on save. Oh, it will give you this cannot open video input. That is okay because um, it just can't be opened, but there's a, a fix to that. Click on OK and change your file format to MP4 and just change your the directory so it doesn't overwrite your original file. So I'm just going to put a 2 at the end right here. And then what you want to do is make sure there's nothing in the queue, and then click on uh, queue. And then it will say your, your clip has had the following problem. Uh, that's okay, because what you want to do is it has to update. So click on yes, and then it will actually have to update. We'll plug in with the load, 2 Pro 6 MGUI tools, AVS, and 
Uh, let's go ahead to that. Let's go to that directory and see if it's there. I might have made one mistake. I told you guys, and I might have not been doing this correctly. C drive program files 86. M E G U I right there. Tools. A V I sync plugin. S V flow one. Uh, I don't think they're actually there. So let's go ahead and copy those files again. So let's just go ahead and close out of here. Uh, I don't actually see those files there. So let's just go ahead and go into here. Make sure you actually copy them because I didn't for some unknown reason. Right click, copy, and paste them into the folder right here. There you go, now they're actually in there. So click on X, click on X again, run the program once again, I do apologize for that guys. Make sure that those four folders are in that folder destination. So let's redo that process. Uh, go to Tools, AVS Script Creator, go to your video input, choose your video right here, and click on Direct Show Source. It will give you a preview, close out of that, click on Save. And you can see that it didn't actually give us an error this time, bravo. So, um, it will give you a preview, click on X, and then what you want to do is make sure that it says X264 MP4. And then what you want to do is click on Q. And then it will start to convert your video to an uh, to 60 frames. So I'm just going to go ahead and time lapse through this, or I'm just going to cut it out. So yeah, I will be right back when this is done. Alright guys, I am back and the video is just about to be done. 99, the output file already exists. So, uh, I don't want to, here, let's just go ahead and drag this guy into here. And would you like to overwrite? Sure, why not? Um, now, it, and then once it is actually done, it will have to update this guy right here. MP4 box should be good to go. There we go. So now it is done. There we go. And you can see that our video is right here. So this is the 60 FPS video because if we go to properties and we go to details, you can see it says 60 frames. I'm going to show you guys a comparison of what it actually looks like. So pay attention to the first part. So let's go ahead and play the first part right here. Pay attention to the beginning. See how laggy these stripes are? So let, let me play it one more time for you guys. Just see how laggy the, the, the part the stripes are. You see how laggy it is? Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and play the, the 60 FPS one. Now watch how much smoother they are. You see how much smoother the stripes are? That's because of the 60 FPS footage. So yeah, that's how you convert a video um, to 60 frames. Alright guys, so now I'm going to be showing you, if you're confused, like how exactly do I restart this process and do it by myself. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. So what you want to do is right click on the MGUI shortcut, run it as an administrator, click on yes, it will then load up the, the software. No updates will show up, which is good. Make sure there's nothing in your queue, so there is, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that from the queue. Go to your input once again, and make sure you're on this window. Go to your tools. Go to your AVS script creator. Then you're going to see the video input and three dots. Click on the three dots and locate your video, which is right, well, my video is right here. It will then give you this option. Click on direct show, sor show source. And then it will give you a preview. Close that preview. Then what you want to do is click on save. Then give you a different preview. Click on, uh, close that out. You don't need that. Uh, it will also put on this desktop this really weird thing, this AVS. Don't delete it. Delete it until your video is done. And once you have uh, renamed this video output, click on Q. It will then immediately start to, uh, to queue your video. Once it's done, it will show up right here, and your video will be done, and you will restart this process for whenever you want to convert. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy. I know it was a long one, but I hope it helped you guys out. And if it did, please leave a liking on the video. That would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.